So we're just 15 weeks away from uh, showtime, or just under now, so for, uh, 15 weeks Sunday just gone. Thanks for watching once again, thanks for tuning in for my uh, weekly update on my progress from just a normal guy, a normal dad, if you want to <clears throat> um, say that, to uh, my first ever um, fitness competition in London in, in October, for my 40th. Um, some people go on holiday for their birthday, I enter physique competitions, what the hell. So uh, the sort of title of this um, today's um, or this week's vlog is the difference between being beach or holiday ready and being stage ready. Um, time is going very quickly. Um, Fifteen weeks. People say, "Oh, it's loads of time." Is not. You know, I'm, uh, this last week is just gone. You know, I don't know where it went. Um, so I'm really starting to think. Right, okay, now is the time to really up the game. Um, so training update. Um, we this week um, we're advancing to um, sort of level two of the um, this program that I'm following now, and it's amazing. It's only on like sort of um, I did a Monday yesterday, two sessions, and this morning um, another session. I'm, I'm feeling it already. I feel a difference. There's not much difference in in what exercise you do in, but the rep range is slightly different. And there's more supersets and, and stuff like that, which I like. It's more intense and it gets it done because time is quite tight, especially in the mornings because I, I train early, early before my first client, which is usually seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I want to get it done. I love training. I, I really do. I love it. But then I'm, I'm conscious of the time and I need to get going for my clients to get ready for my clients as well. And obviously eat, which is which is really important as well. Look at my notes here. Um, Yesterday morning um, in the gym, my lower back was feeling really tight again. I, I don't know why I haven't done anything really to sort of make that happen. Um, so I avoided some certain lower um, back exercises like a T-bar row, which put my back up last time. As I, as I was aware of what could potentially happen again, I really don't want that to happen again. Um, you know, it's a niggle there. It's a no, it's there. I'm aware of it. I just have to um, be, um, be conscious and sort of avoid certain exercises or adapt um, to make sure I don't injure myself again, especially this this uh, stage now, because it puts me back, it puts you out of sort of, your, your mind goes a bit mad and it's, you can't move and I can't do anything and I, I don't want to do that, I want to intensify the training rather than regress it as well. But then yesterday afternoon I went back to the gym to train uh, legs um, and although I was aware of it, I'm um, a low back. I think after a bit of stretching and a bit of warming up as well, um, I felt good. I felt good. Um, maybe I, I lifted a little bit too much than I should have because um, it felt a bit tight then afterwards. But um, we did it. We, we did really good legs, but I couldn't walk properly afterwards, but it was, it was good in a good way. It wasn't that I injured myself. Uh, but this morning, I'm feeling really good, quite loose. Um, you know, I had a cramp all last night in my legs, but I felt really quite good and... Um, Quite strong actually as well. Um, this morning's our uh, workout was shoulders and arms. Um, again, super setting. You know, we do um, military press behind the head and lateral raises. Um, super setting, five five um, sets on that. Um, really feel really good. I didn't lift as m uh, with the arms, then I didn't lift as much on the biceps because I think I got a bit of tendonitis in my left um, elbow or, or joint there. Uh, going into the bicep, um, so sort of very you know try to icing it and, and sort of rest it. Cause I went to see a doctor about my other arm about a year or so ago, and he said, "Yeah, you gotta rest." I rest on Sundays. Um, I can't rest now. I really gotta go for it. But you know, I'll rest when I can. But I gotta keep on going. So I'll start, go a bit lighter, more uh, perhaps slower reps. And squeeze the bicep. It's not a great workout. Don't be wrong. I really um, enjoyed this morning's workout. But I, I could feel a little bit of twinginess in my in my left arm. Um, but I'm resting for the rest of the day now. Um, training wise, anyway. Uh, I got clients and stuff, and <clears throat> but no physical um, work today to do. So all in all, training been going well. Um, this week is really busy. It's a bit of a, a higgledy piggledy week. Um, I obviously. Um, working with clients online and in the, in my studio as well, but I'm also doing a couple of motivational um, speaking um, 
appointments tomorrow. Um, so I'm out all day. You know, I'm training in the morning, but um, and we're out on Friday doing something else. So um, training will be a bit all over the place this week. So I may have to train twice on Saturday and then uh, hit a Sunday session as well to make up for it. So tomorrow's only one session on Friday's only maybe one or maybe no sessions on Friday. Um, but that's the way it is. I can't be too, um, you know, uh, rigid about it. Uh, you know, life happens, appointments come in and, and, and work happens as well. So I have to work around that. So because I've been missing one or two sessions this week, it's not going to be the be all and end all. I have to make up the time later. But also, it's not about how long you spend in the gym, it's what you do with that time as well. That's really important. And I say that to clients as well. You can go to a gym for three hours, but if you piss about on Facebook or Instagram or taking selfies or talk to your blinking neighbour there, you're wasting time. Get in, get it done, get out. Just do it. You know, that's why, that's why I like these um, more intense kind of um, workouts now. As I said, you know, the time is very limited, so I've got to get in, get it done, get out. And that's why what I'm trying to do as well. But yeah, training's going really well. Nutrition wise, again, going well. Um, introduced more of a, an aggressive deficit this week now. Only dropped, I think, about two, 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 um, two, 225 calories <clears throat> down, um, which is fine. I was more or less there anyway. <clears throat> um, but I'm starting to see a difference, a feeling a difference as well. Energy's a little bit lower, but that's to be expected. I'm lowering starchy carbs. Um, for now at least and introducing more fibrous carbs more vegetables and stuff like that <clears throat> so not cutting up carbs at all like I did before years ago when I made a, a big mistake <clears throat> but no um, keeping obviously some rice some things there but you don't get much for your money as in with pasta and rice it's very high calorie caloric food um, but not for more. what you get, like 300 grams of, of pasta is like 500 odd calories. I was like, wow, and I'm half hour later, I'm starving. So I'm sort of not avoiding that, but I'm cutting down on that and cutting down the portions of the rice and the pasta and sort of lowering the starchy carbs. I'm more, <clears throat> more aware of my um, carb and protein intake now, which is really important as well. Um, I'm trying to keep carbs if I can, as much as I can after training, uh, which is quite difficult because in the morning I, I I do have breakfast. I'm not intermittent fasting at the moment. I need to fit the calories in. <clears throat> um, by maybe trying to switch to a lower carb breakfast and having the carbs after, and um, either through a shake or um a bowl of porridge something after training. That's that plan. I'm going ahead this week, but we'll see. Um, as progress is going forward, it motivates me to push on forward as well. You know, <clears throat> the difference you see now, um, or I'm seeing now, and, and people have commented, and you know, when I you know look in the mirror this morning for Rich to get a photo, I can see a difference now. Obviously, see a difference. I bloody hope so. Um, it's about seven, eight weeks now I'm in and you're know, training really hard and it's going to take a difference and it's going to take toll on my body as well. Rich made a really good point yesterday. He said this is quite an intense sort of routine, six days a week um, with work as well and, and, and other stuff and family and it's going to take a toll on your body and you know I, I am knocking on a bit now and you know, things start to go wrong. So I could be aware of that with injuries and stuff like that, like my, my niggle in my arm and my back and stuff. So this is quite hard because I, I want to lift as much as I can, uh, as heavy as I can, because I need to retain the muscle that I've got. I don't want to lose too much muscle um, while dieting, which you're going to do, but I have to keep as much mass or much muscle as possible while being a calorie deficit. Um, so Sunday was meal prep day. You may have seen on my social media. Um, I, I cooked some... Um, you know, quite boring, simple kind of meals. At least I know what I got for lunch now. Although I do have a, a chicken and potato salad for lunch for 350 calories. Um, leftovers from last night, which, which I'm really looking forward to. Bit of a difference. Loads of spinach, loads of spinach, loads of spinach. 
loads of protein, loads of stuff in it. Great. Um, it's pretty boring, but I'm eating for a, for a result. The result is to look lean and as vascular and muscular as possible on stage in October. So if that's what it takes, a sweet potato mash that I made myself, chicken or turkey breast and green beans, so be it. You know, that's what it is. And then in the night, then I try and, uh, well, fair and fair, my wife is really um, um, supportive and she's making meals around what I want to eat. So, but again, portion control is really important. As long as it fits my macros and my calories, I'm fine. But, you know, I love to have, you know, pie and chips and stuff. But it's not going to happen. It's not good for me. So I'm not going to do it. And as I said, I'm, I'm eating for a result, which is that. So as the title of the thing says, um, being beach rock body ready and stage ready is a big difference. Um, I say I'm pretty beach body ready now. Um, so if I was going to... If I was going to go on holiday next or week or so, in the next few weeks, I'd be happy to take my top off on the beach or by the pool, which is huge for me because, believe it or not, right, <clears throat> I am quite body conscious. Even on holiday, I don't like to get my top off. Really weird, really weird, I know. You may think, oh, well, he's a personal trainer and he's in shape and da da, -da. Yeah, but we all have our hang-ups and our bodies and, you know, I'm like, oh, I should be... And this is, this is partly the reason why I'm doing this this stage show because to, to get me to the shape or the the the, the body I want to be not all the time obviously but you know to be see how far I can push myself um, but there's a huge difference between beach holiday ready and stage ready I've been doing some research and looking at some videos and some pictures of guys and girls and I compete in this, in this sort of level fitness model um, category as well and it is massive. It's, it's, it's insane how wrecked these guys are and these girls are. But, you know, I have 15 weeks. <clears throat> I'm, I'm on track. I'd say I'm on track. But the, the, the problem I have, right, the problem I have is not coming fast enough. And I have to keep reminding myself of conversations I have with clients. They say, oh, I'm not losing any weight, not losing fat, whatever. <clears throat> and then, oh, I'm not seeing a difference. I'm the same with that now. It's not it's not kind of quick enough. No, no, no. I know, I know, and I'm exactly the same as that person now. It's not coming off quick enough. But it's it's it takes time. It does take time. But I can't leave any chance now. There's no room for error, no room for treat meals. Um everything has to be accounted for. Every rep and meal counts now. Um me and my fitness pal, my best friends. So um you know, I need to remember, you know, what I'm eating is for a result. Took a progress photo again this morning. I, I, I've sort of compared it to day one. Bloody massive difference. Massive difference. Um, but as I said, I'm not where I want to be. But I have 15 weeks. You know, so i got to remember, it takes time to lose fat. Fat loss is not linear. It is not linear. You know, you put muscle on. You put a bit of fat on because... You, Whatever water, if you're bloated, excuse me, if you're bloated or what have you, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It doesn't happen like that. It happens down, up, around, backwards. You feel demotivated. I just gotta remember. I gotta keep going. I say the same to clients as well. Clients as well, online and in person. You've gotta keep on. Keep your eye on the prize. What is your goal? What is your, you know, ultimate goal? And look at the small goals then going forward because that's really important as well so this is why 12 or 16 week um preps don't work for some people sometimes you need 20 24 week preps like i did 22 i started 22 21 22 weeks out and i needed that i needed that um so i'm in between now just under 15 weeks so I need to dig deep now and put the work in in the kitchen and the gym as well. Um, you know, to, you know, any spare time I have now, I really need to perhaps do a bit more meal prep or do a bit more working out, a bit, a bit more cardio, more ab work, whatever it is. I mean, you do intensify then as well. So I'm looking to maintain as much muscle as I can while still losing fat, which is very difficult. 
it is difficult because you're in a calorie deficit you'll lose obviously um but it's the, it, it's the way it's the way i'm not going down any sort of route of um crappy supplements that don't work or crappy kind of detox tea to lose your belly fat which they promise oh you can lose belly fat by drinking this one tea a day what a lot of rubbish no calorie deficit is the way forward and that's what i'm in but it does take time it does take time anyway so that's it for this week training is on meal prep is on i'm feeling good i'm feeling pretty good um it's this busy week this week now with other appointments and stuff that's going to knock me out of sync i'm a creature of habit i like to know my my week but it's all good life happens it happens so yeah i'm happy with the progress so far thank you so much for support and encouragement and when i see people clients and friends they comment and compliment which is really nice and as i said last week i don't take compliments very well um but we're getting there progress is progress you know keep the eye on the prize keep the eye on the prize 15 weeks and counting here we go have a great week thank you for your support if you have any um comments or questions what i'm eating what i'm training um or want to support and show you support which i love i always appreciate support uh, please comment um or send me a private message we'll have a chat Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all very soon.